This is the Bolex M8 and I'm going to try to swap the drive belt today. So this video is going to be a follow up uh, on the, my first ever video about uh, film projectors which was also the Bolex M8 but in the green color scheme. I chose the uh, neuro color scheme in the two uh, grey tones and red uh, because yeah well it's a bit different so it's, uh, it looks a bit fresh. This particular projector comes from my personal collection. Uh, unlike the green one from my first video uh, which was from a customer, I do have a green one in my personal collection but I thought it would be nice to show you uh, the younger color scheme. This particular projector was built in 1957. Well, I do have a confession to make. I have never changed a belt on a Bolex M8, so this is new for me too. I know where the belt is, so let's dive into it and let's discover what I have to do and what you have to do and if it's at all possible to change the belt if you are not a trained mechanic. So let's get on with it. Okay, so before we start this task I want to make sure to tell you this uh, which is important. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change this belt but I am in no way responsible or liable for screw-ups you make. This is completely at your own risk and I tell this because there are some settings in this projector which are very finicky to get back to when you have replaced the belt in the way I did it. So you might have to do the assembly some more, maybe more than one times uh, to get those settings right and by that I mean getting the claw back in place and, uh, and working again and in the right place. So please enjoy my video, uh, have fun watching and if you uh, undertake the task yourself that's fine but it's completely at your own risk. If there of course are any questions you are welcome to put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them uh, as good as I can. Okay, first and foremost, I have uh, stated this before, get a screwdriver that fits your screws perfectly, otherwise you will destroy the screws. It's all flat hat, that's really an ancient method of doing things, but it's the way it is and we'll have to deal with it. So, a good screwdriver is your number one thing, get good tools. Put on my headlight and I know for a fact that I first uh, have to remove these two screws to get the lamp house uh, detached because that lamp house stays on the projector or else I have to cut wires. Oh, there's a screw here. Also this screw has a special shape. Don't lose it. It only fits here and here. So I'm going to loosen this one too. If the screws are tight, and they are usually, be careful um, with loosening them. You could strip off the heads, um, especially with flat head. So what you have to do is you put the screwdriver in put pressure on it and then gently try to loosen it and then it will come out of the projector most of the time in a good state so this now is loose I have to for safety take the lamp out so you see the lamp house is now loose and I can slide it inward that means when I take this entire this entire piece of mechanics off this one will stay on the projector. So let's loosen it up further. I have to unscrew several screws around the projector. This one, this one, this one, and I believe this one too. So let's go on with it. A very long one goes in there. Okay. And now gently pull the lamp house with the mechanism towards you and slide. Sorry, let me light that better. And slide the lamp cover through the slit holes.
then when I turn it around you can see let me just focus on that to be sure you can see the gears the mechanics the mechanism for opening up the film gate the condenser lens and the reflector so I'm going to put this aside because this is not an important part right now Okay, here we are on the inside of the projector. I have a, my, my headlight is on. Um, it's, it's LED, so it's a very harsh light, but I can show you exactly what I mean. Uh, you see the belt right here. It's attached to this main axle. This is the, the shutter. Um, I will explain in a later video why the shutter is there and what it does. Uh, but on this one, you see there is a little damage on the belt. Um, I'm not actually going to put in a new one, but I'm going to show you how to remove this one and eventually place a new one. Another important part you can see right here. This is the claw, this transports the film. Here is the wire resistor. Uh, this projector has one, uh, as you can see. And if you want to know what it does and why it's there, um, I would advise to check out my video about the Yumic P2 where I explain uh, why they use these resistors uh, back in the 50s and earlier. So here's a close-up of the film transport mechanism. You can see the claw right here and the shutter right here. And if I turn on the, turn the motor, you can see the claw moving. It actually goes the other way. Come on, focus on the claw. This is difficult for this camera. There's a screw here. You need to loosen that. There's a screw here, you need to loosen it. So let's go on. This part can turn freely. That, that's not bad at all, that doesn't matter. This part you unscrew very carefully. And then, also very carefully, put your screwdriver between this piece and this piece which is loosened and you push it gently all the way to the back until it comes against this flange. Okay, so the next thing we have to do and that's uh, I think that's quite a, an, an undertaking we'll have to take the entire uh, claw assembly out. You see the claw here you can see down below is the Framer. Yeah, if I turn this, you can see the claw shifting height. So we have to get, first of all, uh, we have to get this spring off. This right here. Okay, that's all. Okay, three screws. The only one you have to loosen is this one. This is adjusting of the claw. Don't touch it because that's just fine where it is. And this screw just holds on to the spring. I pre-loosened this one for you, so uh, be warned. This one can get very stuck. and get it out. This little part fell off the claw. You need to put it back right into this slot. Okay, let's see if I can shift the axle forward to get the belt out now. No, there's still... Ah! If you push it forward like this, the shutter will touch the housing. That won't work. Rotate it. And we're still not there yet, because what I want to do is create some space behind here. 
So I have to take these felt oil scrapers out. The trick is to shift the axle forward, but not the shutter. So what I did now, this coupling in the front, remove the screw and remove the two spring plates. There you have it, there we go, that's it. As you can see I now have shifted the axle and there's room right behind here to get the belt around. There it is. The old belt is out. So here you have the projector. All the parts I took out. Doesn't seem like a lot, doesn't it? So now comes the next challenge and that's to put everything back in.